what's going on in the ski federation that's making it act like corrupt or kind of like a dictatorship so they push through rules that are pretty tough on the direction of skiing um without our without our our uh, input and then also on that there's like some sponsorship rules and stuff like as far as logo size for they're actually like centered around goggles and helmets which directly affected me as a business owner but making logos smaller which diminished the value of an athlete to a sponsor and all sorts of things like this but generally done without any athlete input i think this has gotten better as far as like there's so much pushback in those couple of years that there's more athlete re- representation on the higher side of things but I mean, generally with all these like big sporting um, federations, like based in Switzerland, there's no like transparency about like what's going on in the backside of the back end of things. There'll be a new FIS president this year. And hopefully actually the guy who is the CEO of head skis, which is one of my sponsors is running for that. So if he ends up winning that, that should change things a lot and bring it back into the 21st century and make it much more, you know, transparent and, equitable for all the stakeholders and all that stuff. So it's always like a tough balance with these, you know, international federations. They're trying to like hold on to their little fiefdom and it's somewhat short-sighted and, and all that. So that was kind of the basis for that. And I think all sports in the last, you know, five, 10 years have realized, you know, after like the FIFA scandals and all this have realized that then you really need to uh, have a more, transparent and equitable way of running things and and having athlete input is is a big piece of that